eyes on the road, I'll follow hard after Be you. Be a flashlight in the darkness, illuminate my path. Show me footsteps on the muddy trail, so I can follow step by step. Cause I can't see where I'm going, but I'm trusting in your plan. So I'll keep my eyes on you, oh Lord, straight to the promised land. Eyes on the road, I'll follow. Eyes on the road, I'll follow. Eyes on the road, I'll follow. Well, I uh, ended up buying a Ford Fairlane, 1956, uh, and um, this is going to be our next project on Fixin' 2, and um, we'll walk you around it, see what we can show you. So this is what we've always wanted to do for our YouTube channel. Um, buy new cars, fix them up, or buy old cars, fix them up, and um, sell them, and you know, do YouTube off of that. So that's fine. Um, uh, this is the interior. It's actually really nice for what it could be, what I've seen it before. Um, the steering wheel's a little chipping up the paint's chipping off and stuff with that. Um, this is the stuff that came with the car, just some brakes and the um, air filter and some spark plugs and the magazine. Anyways, uh, let's show y'all the here we have the carb raider and um, the guy who we bought it from uh, tried to work on it and um, apparently messed up his shoulder so he couldn't finish his project so we bought it from him. Yeah, should be easy. Now, show you the original documents from this thing. Here we have the original bill of sale. So uh, here's the original guy who owned it. Um, invoice date, number, and the Dutch dealership. Yeah, Dutch O'Neill. Dutch O'Neill uh, dealership. That's where we got it from. So it's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, this is just the other side. Just put that up. Just put that up there for now. And the motor. I know what you're thinking. That is probably not how it's supposed to be. He, the guy we bought it from, like I said, tried to fix it up. Um, I don't even know. Was he? Uh, it was already running, so I don't know so why he, was he trying to. It sat for too long, and when we tried to crank it up, he bent one of the rods. I think what he said it was and, one of these two. Yeah. So we have to replace some of the rods and then put it back together. That should, and then we can test it and see if if it'll turn over. Harrison tried to turn it over a little bit. Um, seems to be locked up, so we might just have to work on it a little bit to see if we can get it fixed. So uh, yeah, that's everything. We're gonna. Uh, oh yeah, the license plate. My fault. We have the original lesson plate. You can't hardly see anything, but actually, wasn't it? It was bought in New Orleans. Yeah, Louisiana. The original 1956 Louisiana tag on the front. Of it. Was actually in a movie. I don't know if it was like a famous movie or anything called My Little Girl. I'm not sure. Something like that. We'll have to look it up and see. But it's based on a true story of some sort. So. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna wait till Harrison gets back from the work and we'll do some more stuff when he gets home. So, uh, yep. So, we started taking everything out of the vehicle. All the documentation of everything, original paperwork, all the different 
items that they the past paperwork and maintenance maintenance paperwork and different things. Look what, what I found. Original pictures of the car. Those are like really nice pictures. Yeah. We're gonna make it really we're gonna make it look like that. Let's look on the back and see if it's got a already look there's not really some information on it. Date or anything. Nice. Look at the tag. The original tag is nice and clean. Obviously, it's a little bit more before rusty now, but after. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna make that look like in pristine condition. I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna. Yeah, we're gonna work on it, but we're going through and taking all the parts yeah. out. There's the. Should we get How long were these parts in here? And brake parts for all the redoing the brakes. The previous owner sold to us gonna redo the brakes but didn't have time to do them so we've got all the brake parts and everything to redo the brakes. Yeah. And in the back seat we found, pretty, we found pretty, a dead rat in here. Pretty crusty. But the carpet dusty, dusty. the carpet looks to be in really good shape other than the cool. grossness. He said he had it sitting up for about a year before he sold it to us and then the previous owner before that had it sitting under a barn for about 15 to 20 years so and it's it's uh no it's just a parts catalog uh if you pull up the seat covers they see it looks pretty good to replace a few things we're gonna go through and Take these carpets out? Yeah, you can take them out. We're gonna get all the stuff out and then vacuum it up. Try to get it real good and clean. There's some stains on the seat, but uh, we'll see if we can't get those to come around. Can we take the seat Door cards are not great. The moisture has gotten to them and caused them to bow a little bit, but this one's really bad. Mouse and mouses have gotten to them, but uh, I think it, it's got some really good bones and a good start. Mileage is, see it looks like it's rolled over, so that's 5,353, but it's probably at least 105 in his cigarettes. based on the condition of everything. It's a pretty relatively low mileage car for what it is. So we will get ripping on this thing and get it cleaned up and see what we're working with. Got the inside cleaned up, nice and vacu vacuumed. Um, we washed the outside off camera. We sanded the green paint a little bit. And I think that's all we're going to do for the cleaning for right now. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and see you guys in the next one.